Hi everyone, Sierra Thompson, Independent Sensi Consultant here. I am bringing to you items that are non-wax and warmer related Scentsy items. So all of the things that I use um, through Scentsy that are not wax and warmers because Scentsy has a lot of other products that are fantastic and I don't think people realize that there's so many things that you can buy through Scentsy and try and you might really like some of these products. So I definitely want to highlight them and let you know what they are. So we're going to start with this. So this is a Scentsy Buddy. This Scentsy Buddy is a licensed product because this is Marvel the Hulk. Um, Scentsy has non-licensed products and licensed products, and they have that in Scentsy Buddies as well. Scentsy Buddies are their stuffies that they, that you can buy, and they have um, they're they're really durable. First, I'd like to highlight that this one especially is very durable. It doesn't have a lot of wear and tear, and my son sleeps with it every night since he's first got it. So I would say that they're very durable. And the my favorite thing about them is that they have a place here that you can sit open and there is a scent pack in here so you can have fragrance in your stuffy which I think is fantastic this is how I used to keep my my children's room smelling really good before I had warmers in their rooms before they were ready for warmers really I did Scentsy Buddies because this would keep their room smelling really fresh before um before they had warmers in their rooms so I loved it fantastic and Every Scentsy Buddy will have that little Scentsy logo there. <laughs> this is just so cute. All of my kids have at least one Scentsy Buddy. A few of them have more than one. We love them in our house because they love stuffies. So this is always going to be like one of their favorite things. And they all love Marvel, Star Wars characters. And that's where basically Scentsy has gotten all my money for all of those products. I love them. And my daughter, she loves the Star Wars Um she calls him Baby Yoda, but I think it's Grogu. So she has that one. We have a Spider-Man one. We have um, just the regular Scentsy Buddies. I think we have like a wolf. My older son, he likes um, the wolf. So these are great for kids. I mean, for grown-ups, if you like stuffies, my kids just love them. So I always make sure that if there is a new one coming out of a character they love, I order it. The next thing I'm going to start with uh, or the next thing that I'm going to move on to is actually something that I did not did not unplug. So I have wall fan diffusers. Look at that. So I will unbox this so that you can see it in case you've never seen one. Now wall fan diffusers are great in an area where you don't want to put wax. If you have a plug that is low to the ground or you have dogs, dogs, uh, little fingers that might get into wax or spill because goodness gracious when you spill that wax the stress level is high okay so these use the beads in sense pods so they have sensi um we have sensi pods which come two in a pack now sensi pods are actually um the same as like the beads in them are similar to the beads in the scent pack here so i will actually grab a scent pod so that you can see what it looks like after I show you the wall fan diffuser. So it comes like this in this little box here. You plug it in and you put the Scentsy Pods in here and then you put this on the top and you turn it on this way. Now it is a fan that pushes air up through the beads so that you get the fragrance, okay? And it's super, super like durable. It's heavy duty, like very thick plastic. So I wouldn't worry about breaking it. It's not going to break. Um, and I think the only problem that I have had with my wall fan diffusers is sometimes they get a little dusty. I use like that computer, um, like how you clean your keyboard on the computer with like the, the dust in a can. I use that sometimes to clean off my Scentsy, uh, my wall fan diffusers just because they get really dusty. Um, now I'm going to get you, I'm going to get a Scentsy pod so you can see what that looks like. Okay, these are Scentsy Pods. They come two in a pack, so you can just take these out and put them in that wall fan diffuser. You can also put them in Scentsy Goes and our air purifiers, okay? Now, you can put one or two. It's totally up to you. And the good thing about these is 
you can put them back in here if they still have fragrance and save them for later. I love that you can do that. Um, I, I've had really good experience with the Scentsy Pod fragrances. Some of the fragrances in wax that are lighter are a little bit stronger in Scentsy Pods, and I love that. Okay, I love that. But I do think that for me, most of the time I like wax because wax is stronger. Scentsy Pods go in the wall fan diffuser in certain areas in my house where maybe the the um, plug is lower and that will be, or I don't have a shelf to put a Scentsy warmer on. That's where I put my wall fan diffusers. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is the items that I use in closets, cars, things like that. Um, this one, Scent Circle. Scent Circles I like to put in the closet. If you have like a small closet that kind of gets that stale smell, I don't know what it is. It's like weird, like because it's always closed and in tight, a tight space, it can get like kind of funky smelling, kind of like weird. So I put these, I hang them um, where I put my hangers in closets and it adds fragrance to the closet and keeps it from having that weird smell to me. These are also great for giving to people. Um, if you just want to give them a scent that maybe they might like, instead of them buying a whole bar, you can get these because they're $3. They're awesome. All right, scent packs. Scent packs are another thing that I put in closets. It depends. If I'm willing to change out the scent circle sooner, then I'll use the scent circle. Um, these last longer. So scent pack will last a lot longer in a closet. I also like to put these in, in bags, maybe gym bags. My favorite place is my husband's car. He does not like the car bars hanging from his mirror all the time. So he has done this occasionally. He'll switch back and forth between the two. And so he, he can just throw these under a seat and then it adds fragrance to his car. Like I said, these also go in the Scentsy Buddies. So that's another thing to keep in mind for these. All right, the next item that I keep on hand all the time that is not wax, uh, car bars. I love Scentsy car bars. They're so good, they last a long time. I get very excited when I get to change out my car bar. And this car bar is gonna go in next in my van. Be merry, it's so beautiful. It's like a perfect tree scent. It is so nice, I love it. Car bars. So you could probably throw these in the same places that you would try a scent circle or a scent pack, closet, anything like that, but I like them in my car. So I keep those on hand at all times. Okay, another thing that I like, and I don't only use it in my house, is Scentsy Room Spray. So Scentsy Room Spray, I have at least one in every bathroom in my house all the time. I use them in my bathroom and I also put them in my car. When we take long road trips, sometimes I feel like even though I have a car bar in my car, I want immediate fragrance and strong fragrance sometimes right then and there. So I will spray this towards the ground in my car, towards the like rug in my car, and it provides a lot of scent. And I just keep it in there just in case when we go on like ro long road trips, that kind of thing. And I like to have it also when we travel. If we are traveling and we're staying in a hotel room, I bring in my room spray so that I can spray the room to make it smell good. And I can use it in the bathroom if we have to use a bathroom because it's rough sharing a bathroom with six people. <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. So <laughs> I take the room spray everywhere. I will say, if you use these, be careful um, where you spray it because they're oily. And I think that's true for all like sprays like this. They're, they can be a little oily, so it can make it slick on the floor depending on what kind of floor you have in your bathroom. So I spray it really high and I try to go kind of over a rug so that if it falls, it falls into the rug and not onto like the tile so it's not slippery or slick. My kids used to spray it in our old house. Sometimes the floor would get slick and it would catch them and kind of they would slip. Here we don't have that problem as much. Also, be careful about the finish on your toilet because it is oily. Sometimes it will um, like slip on that, that finish and it will just sit there. It won't like sink in or anything. So you have to kind of wipe the toilet lid if you spray it towards the toilet lid 
Also walls, you don't want to have to like spray oil on the walls because that just damages the paint. So just center of the room up high. That's what I recommend for that one. Next thing that I use, ooh, I love. Um, Scentsy hand soap. I love the hand soap and I love the bigger containers. They used to have these small little containers and they were kind of an awkward shape. Um, now they have a nice big container, but I will say that I don't keep my hand soap in this container. I switch it all to glass bottles, glass hand soap bottles. Uh, in my kitchen, I keep it at full strength like this because it, it works better when I'm like trying to cut grease and food from my hands. But in general, everywhere else, I make foaming hand soap out of this. I put some in the dish and then I add water to it and I will show you the kind that I have. Now, I won't tell you where I got these because um, I don't want to be out of compliance because it probably it's another company. But um, this is the bottle that I use. Um, you can find similar type bottles on Amazon if you're looking for them. That is not where I got this, but I do have some from Amazon. So I pour this in here and then I fill it up with water the rest of the way. The important part for the foaming hand soap is the top. This part is the part that makes it foamy, but you have to have enough water in there to make it really foam up. So I do that with my hand soaps, which makes them last way longer and they're still just as effective. Okay, the next thing that I use is all-purpose cleaner, this and counter clean both. Counter clean, you won't dilute. You just use it as is. But all-purpose cleaner, you want to dilute it and put it in a spray bottle. Now, I used to use a counter clean bottle to make this, but I've recently bought glass bottles. So you put the measurement in here and you add water, fill it with water the rest of the way. And then, like, I still have, this will probably make two or three more bottles. And then I have a whole nother one of these that I bought, I think in Gogo Mango on a Scentsy flash sale. That's where I got this. And this is awesome because you get six bottles, six, I think bottles is what it makes, which is pretty dang awesome. So I love that. Um, and I use this in my um, bathroom the most, I would say the most. I like it for the counters somewhat, but I'm not huge on using it on my counters. I like it in my tub to remove stains, especially with like a magic eraser. And then I use it in areas like around the toilet so that the toilet smells fresh while I'm cleaning it. I love that. So yes, those few more items to go that I love and keep in my house all the time. Uh, the next one is washer whiffs. Oh, I love them so much. Now I go back and forth between using just the washer whiffs versus the whole laundry system. If you use a whole laundry system, that's cool. But if you don't want to use the whole laundry system, I recommend if you're going to try one product from the laundry line, Washer Whiffs is it, okay? Because this is a scent booster. It is not the laundry liquid. I use a plain, unscented, like just tied, you know, whatever laundry. And then I put this in with it and my clothes smell fantastic. So you don't need to have the laundry liquid to go with this to get the scent. This is enough, just on its own, like seriously. And this is Fluffy Fleece. I love this scent. Oh, it's so good. Oh, so good. Now I have, I bought three packs. So I have this in Fluffy Fleece, Jammy Time, and Clothesline. Those are my three favorite scents in the laundry. So I just alternate between them. My kids generally like Jammy Time. My daughter and I like Fluffy Fleece. And my husband, I do Clothesline just because this is a little more feminine. And I don't think he wants to smell like a woman. So, <laughs> so I use that. And you just put one scoop in with in the washer and then put the clothes on top of it. And then put your laundry liquid in as you normally would. The other thing that I do have, but I don't always keep in my house, but I just wanted to mention it, is a dryer disc. So you can use the washer whisk, the dryer disc, and they go in your dryer. It would be replacing like um, the dryer sheets that you normally use. So this adds more fragrance. Helps keep the static down. I love it. All right, the last item that I use from Scentsy that is non-wax related, Scentsy Hand Cream. Oh, I love it. And this scent is freaking amazing. Oh, gosh. 
Ah, oh, dancing sugar plums is so good. I had the body wash also, which I did enjoy a lot. But this hand cream, it was available um, for a short time, I think in a flash sale recently, and I probably months ago. And I stocked up on a few of these because dancing sugar plums is the best scentsy body fragrance ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like, no lie, the best one. It's so good. I wish that they would just bring it back. It's so good. Like, I want to spray. I want the. And now. This is quite thick, I will say, and it's um, it's kind of thick, but it's but it's like it's not greasy. I will say that. Let me see. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it is. You can see it. It's thick, but it's not super greasy. So it spreads easily. It soaks in easily, and oh, uh, it's. <laughs> It smells so good, you guys. Oh, I love this scent so much. So I have three of these. I keep one in my purse, one by the side of my nightstand, and one in my car. Um, I think that is all the scentsy products that I use that are non-wax related, okay? Now, let me know if you have tried some of the other scentsy products that are non-wax related. Do you try, do you use all of the products that I use? Do you like them? What do you think about them? I think if I was to choose three items from Scentsy that are non-wax that I would use all the time. It would be hand soap because that's just like a straight up, I need to have hand soap, might as well buy it. That smells good, you know, from Scentsy. And the fact that I can make it into foaming means I can get three bottles out of one hand soap. Washer whisk because I love my laundry smelling amazing. And then my other one would be a room spray because I can, like I said, take the room spray, the Scentsy room spray into um, any place that I want to go. The car, the hotel, the living room, the bathroom, all of it. I love getting these, especially if I'm warming a scent. I like to spray sometimes in that same scent I use the spray. It helps just, you know, kind of heighten that scent. It's so great. I love those. So that's my list of items that I use that are non-wax and warmer related Scentsy items. They're my must-haves, even though I said three. I like all of these and I will probably keep buying all of them. Even if I wasn't a consultant, I would try these. Um, the hand soap and um, washer whisks and room sprays, top ones for me. I just, I have to have them because otherwise I would use like Glade in my bathroom. And I just think Scentsy Room Spray smells so much better. It's fantastic. So let me know what you guys use that are non-wax related items from Scentsy. Do you use any other items besides wax? Um, have you tried them? Maybe give them a try, see what you like and let me know. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. And if you like this type of content, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.